on the Todd Shapiro Show, Sirius XM 168. I'm an uh, average looking dude. I, yeah, all right. I'm a fun You're great. No, you're great. Fun-ish. And the hat fun- oh, is incredible. The hat's awesome, bro. That bumps you up like two points. It's, guys like, you, like, it's guys like you. I was afraid to buy the hat. If I didn't know you, I wouldn't say anything. I'd just think it and let it <laughs> stew in my head. Uh, uh, no, you're, you're doing great. This is so good. Well, I, I once in a while like to uh, make sure that the program uh, gets more entertaining and, and uh, for the YouTube purpose and maybe peaks.com, uh, better to look at. <laughs> Our next guest will definitely help on that front. Michelle Milet, how are you? Uh, do you want to put on her mic, uh, Bilal, or do you want to just not uh, oh, hit on? There it is. Hi. Do you, do you want to, is this? <laughs> just sign language. Yeah, exactly. What an, just what... a lot of eye contact. <laughs> Blinking Morse code. amazing for radio. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Bilal. <laughs> radio Hi. for deaf people. <laughs> yeah. It's just going over well. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Nice to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. This is so fun. Yeah. And a... I love your hat, and you the... look great in your hat. Oh, that's so super nice. Yeah. yeah. I do. Yeah. I look, I thought I look kind of good because it hides my face, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's a great it's a great do you like do you have flashy hats michelle do you do you like do i have flashy yeah. i don't really um i'm not i have a very small head and so i can't really pull off hats that easily how they tiny a pat i don't know if you're allowed grabbing guest heads i just was like i'll allow it okay I'll allow because it. my head yeah. is huge okay do you have a big it doesn't head? look yeah like yeah. seven and uh three quarters in a fitted hat wow. which is it's a lot of brain a, obscene it's a lot, it's a lot no, of brain i feel like it's just skull. like fluid yeah it's yeah. like a thick skull like a hockey puck <laughs> All the way around, right. and then like a, an apple brain, and 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 your head's tiny. Yeah, it's pretty small. Huh? Yeah, I um, yeah, it's it's too small. What it happened? Does, yeah. It doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like it would be a tiny head. Like it Ugh. seems it seems like an appropriately sized head. Well, I really appreciate that. So thank you. I have like head insecurities, obviously. Uh, so it's clear. This is very it's, nice. It's obvious. I'm sorry very to nice. sorry to hear. It. Have you seen anyone about this? I'm looking into it. A you head know. shrinker, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, like a shrink. Like a sh- like that. Or the. That's, that's why he does comedy, com- man. That's why. Come on. That was very good. Yuck, yucks. A lot of wit going on. There's, here. you know, it's, Do it. a, it's way ahead of, of my brain. Yeah. I can't keep up. <laughs> well, it's because you have the hat on. It's, well, it's holding it all in. Restricting things. Yeah. No, no, the hat, if anything, the hat makes me, because I'm so insecure about my hair. Mm-hmm. So when I have my security blanket on, my mind is freer. Right. Can we yeah. see the you hair or is that like Fuck a... no, Pat. <laughs> Who the hell wow. do you think you are? I'm going to get okay, stuck. Okay, no. I stood up. I know. First the hat, was now the hair. Was that a fight that almost I think, happened? I think I that love was you, a Pat. fight you I love you. That was no, a fight. So a radio bad. fight where My, it doesn't yeah. ever happen, but there's a lot of threats. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do the first ever radio fight. <laughs> okay. Just uh, like, pow, but pow. I'm not, I'm not a fighter. And no. you have like a foot in height on me, so no thank you. Oh, the, 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 I'm so weak. The, I wouldn't do anything. The, I'm not, no. No, you could, okay. you, you could like headbutt me in the balls with that big head or something. Like, I'd yeah, lose. okay, good point. Yeah. Sorry, Michelle, we're getting off topic. Right, we're right. Don't worry, okay. <laughs> I'm can very you, well. Michelle, can you fight? Are you a fighter? No, I'm not a fighter. No. Never. I've never been in a fight. Are you a lover? I'm a lover, not a fighter. You're sweet. Course. You're very sweet. That's nice. Thanks. Is that the West Coast vibe? Because you're originally from the Vancouver area, correct? Yeah, I'm from Vancouver Island. I'm from a really small town in Vancouver Island wow. called Ladysmith. No way. Mm-hmm. So Home of Pam Anderson. Oh, wow. oh no yeah. way! That's yeah. so cool. So, yeah. like, that's kind of neat. Are there are there like street signs ever? Is there a, is there a coliseum based on her or something like? No, but everyone <laughs> really claims that, that like they're like Pam Anderson is my eleventh cousin. Like everyone is like I'm if related it's that to small her. A town, yeah. it very well could be the case. True. It could just be a lot yeah. of a lot of a lot of connections with yeah. her. Yeah, no, that's so. Yeah, home of Pam Anderson. Do you, do you know any of like Pam Anderson's actual family? I think I know one girl that's legitimately related, but I couldn't. I can't confirm that. Isn't she with yeah. the Wiki, WikiLeaks dude now? Uh, what's his name? I think she brought him. She brought him like soup or something. Yeah, I think they're tapping and one like another. a really? USB port, and it's then a- that was it. And then somebody <laughs> cut off his internet, and then she was like, "I'm so I have to tweet. I gotta go. I gotta and then it's I over. Can't, yeah. I can't do it. That's so neat. So now, are you the are you the second most famous person from Lady Smith? Oh, I'm sure there's many more that are way more recognizable than I am. But, Michelle, uh, Milet, don't <laughs> underestimate the power of Letterkenny, oh, mm-hmm. which yeah. is crushing it. Uh, Crave TV's Letterkenny, if people haven't seen it. And to be honest, I haven't seen many episodes, I'm going to be honest with you, but I plan on binging it. I plan on, on yeah. doing a binge over the holidays when I have time to really just appreciate it and yeah. maybe smoke a J for the first time in a while. <laughs> you you have to. It's, yeah. it's a great show to binge and to smoke a J, too. I can only sure. imagine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how did this all come about? Because it's, it's really a great, it really is an unbelievable success 
success story in sort of the new way that, you know, a Netflix model kind of TV show works. And mm -hmm. it's, I'd say it's the most popular one ever produced in Canada to do, to, to do this. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's really, it's been pretty crazy to see how well it's done, especially on Crave TV and with all of Crave TV's other amazing programs. They have like every show ever on there and, and Letterkenny does really well. Yeah. So it's good. I, I honestly better than friends. I think it's yeah. not, I think it's like well like on Crave TV. Yeah. Just to clarify. I know. I know. Um, <laughs> yeah, people are really into it. It's really nice. So and then like the you audition. How do you get mm. the audition? Like I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't like. I'm not an audition guy. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't like that stuff. So right. Like because you've done some movies and you're in. Uh, you, there's a connection here, Pat. Isn't there? There is. Yeah. You yeah. Uh, you were in a movie with my soon to be sister in law, the Drownsman. Oh my. That's yes. not her name. It's the name of the movie. <laughs> yeah, listen, that'd be weird. A horror movie. Yeah, yeah. Claire I started, Bastable. Yeah. So she, yeah. Oh, lovely girl. Yeah, that was, yeah. oof, the drowns went. What a crazy time that was. Doing a super low budget indie movie in the middle of winter in Canada with a lot of water involved isn't really the move, as it turns out. It was tough. Yeah. Did anyone get hypothermia on set? Almost. Really? Got, a lot of people got pretty sick. No way. <laughs> yeah, it was rough. It was rough. Um, but with Letter Kenny, I just, I was in LA doing my first pilot season. I was there for like three months and then I came home. Um, and then Letter Kenny was like the first thing I auditioned for like two days after I landed from LA. And I actually hadn't seen any of Letter Kenny problems on YouTube. So I was really, I didn't know what it was. I read it and I was like, what is this? Because it's hard to, <laughs> when yeah. you're reading a Letter Kenny script, you're just like, what? the hell is happening because of all the hick slang yeah and just and <laughs> unless couple. you hear them like the way that they speak and the timing of it it's just kind of yeah it's tricky so i just went in and there you go wow good for you what yeah. a, so so i mean was, was there opportunity in la that you had to forego or did i mean how did that work out for you i wish i could say yeah there was so many just things uh, like, just <laughs> like pam I just, anderson yeah, was like i want to uh, do they're like, like trying no. to fly me all over the place it's like i'm so tired you know but no 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 i la was was great it was a really good experience but um, letter Kenny ended up being like the best thing that happened. And, sure. and so is there any, you know, I just found out you're from a sort of a small townish. Mm -hmm. letter Kenny being a small town. Uh, what is it like considered? Where, where is letter Kenny actually? It's supposed to be in um, like Northeastern Ontario. I okay. Believe. And it's a small town of 5,000 people. It's kind of based off Listowel. Have you heard of that? It's a Listowel is a real town and I've it's heard where, of it. yeah. yeah, it's where Jared Kiso is born and raised. So, so okay, so they, there's experience based. there. That, yeah. That's oh, cool. Yeah. I didn't know that actually. Yeah. Uh, so so did your small town growth help at all adapt to your to your character, Katie? Yes, definitely. Um, that's a good question. I like that's a legit like radio. <laughs> yeah, that like, that's, like you've done your research. That's what wow. I thought. Yeah. It sounds like you've already binge watched. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm. I th you know I I get in. I slide them in there nicely. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Very proud yeah. of you. Yeah. Thank um, you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> she reminds me of. Not me in my small town, but kind of like that girl in the small town in high school that all the boys want to date and all the girls are kind of afraid of. And I think we all, or at least a lot of people who are from small towns know that, that girl. And I definitely knew that girl. Do you, she wouldn't talk to me. She, oh, no way. Come <laughs> on. Kidding. You were that girl. No, I yeah, definitely no. wasn't. You're Because you're, you're a lover. Because I'm a, I'm a lover. I'm a nice, You've always sweet. been that way. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, now, Michelle... Those guys are really funny. Mm -hmm. uh, Jared and uh, Nate, Nate and Kay Trev, Trev and yeah. and I mean they're they're Dylan, they're, Andrew, Tyler. Yeah, it's crazy. Awesome. Jeff yeah. McHenry was on a yeah. couple too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he and Kay Trev are, are buddies of mine. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So so, so you know how funny these guys are. Oh, they're two of the funniest guys in the country. It's insane, right? right? Yeah. 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 And when we say the country, the world, because the world, like this country, is some of the funniest people in the world. That's Agreed. the way I look at it. And just, yeah. You know, I, I'm I'm sick of this sort of self-deprecating Canadian scene because. Uh, just because we don't have like you know Rolls Royces to show how talented we are, it doesn't mean that we're not as talented on that level. Yeah, that's Metro kind of Pass idea. is just as good. Honestly, I love my Metro Same. Pass. I feel oh, very proud like, of it. Oops, wrong stop. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Swipe. 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 Boom. Done. Transfer. What? Easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Set. By the way, I haven't I haven't been on a bus in a couple of years. But okay. Oh wow. Yeah, the hat. <laughs> wow, the hat. I'll get beat up. I'll get I'll get beat up. I'll get, I'll get like, beat I up. I can't. Yeah, it's <laughs> not that you have so much money. It's just like I can't <laughs> wear this in public. It's because I spit on a TTC driver. They don't let me back. No. Ooh. Did you hear oh, about no. that story though? There's no. A, oh, yeah. There's a story. Anyway, we're off topic. Yeah. The people are rude to TTC drivers. There's a big. There's a big in the sun. In the sun. It's a Toronto newspaper because we talk to other people and and yeah people are, don't treat bus drivers poorly no 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 
So anyway, uh, these guys are so funny. So Michelle funny. Michelle Mylett. How do you, because when I'm doing an interview, all I do is laugh. And even I, my bosses sometimes say, Todd, don't giggle so much. You, you lose the authoritative kind of way about you. You know, just go along with the joke. I'm like, I'm not a comedian. Like these guys generally make me laugh and I genuinely then cackle. Oh, that's a synonym. <laughs> I love it. Okay. You, how do you not ruin the shoots? Do, you, do, do they have to do extra takes because you're laughing so hard? I do ru ruin them. I have actually in season two, which is coming out soon-ish. Season one, I think I was so nervous and like didn't know everyone and just was like, okay, I can't like let myself be silly. I, I can't ruin takes. And then season two, for me, the show just became so much more hilarious. It's so silly. And they just like, I just, just gets really nuts. And my scenes with Tyler Johnson, who plays Stuart, who's like the head skid, <laughs> we have some scenes together this year. And I just ruined so many of them because I can't deal with how funny he is and and when we're all at the um the produce stand and just like riffing off each other and they start improvising it's like game over it's insane yeah it's a, but you're you're wayne who's your brother on the show mm -hmm. like that dude to me is that that's some of the funniest comedy i've ever seen like just, uh, his character he's i love it amazing amazing and reality is really like he doesn't have he to doesn't say move. anything and he's so very stiff and like pulling his pants up and his furrowed brow all the time. Like he's made it so intricate that like every little thing he does is just completely Wayne at all times. And if you look at him, you're like smiling instantly. So you just kind of have to not look at him. Pat. Yes. I see you thinking like, like you have a no, comment. I, just, I heard head skid and I was like, that's amazing that that's like a title. <laughs> it's a title. Well, it's you know what I loved actually when you go to IMDB for letter Kenny and what's yeah, I wrote it down on oh, summer here. I don't know where it is now. The, the notes are, uh, Oh, it's just like Letterkenny consists of hicks, skids, hockey players, and Christians. Uh -huh. These are their problems. Like, that's the, the only definition. That's a great show. Totally. Well, it's so, <laughs> they haven't tried to overcomplicate it. You know, it's it's a small town, and being from a small town, there are cliques of people that fit into stereotypes, and they behave a certain way, and they, they all talk the same, and they kind of fuck with each other. They don't really like each other, but it's still a small town, and everyone's has to come together for the one party anyway. So it's like, it's just, yeah, it's very relatable, I think. How would Pat McDonald relate in, in would he do well in Letter Kenny? I think he would do well. Are you asking like what crew he would be in? Yeah. Uh-oh. Head skid? <laughs> I wouldn't even make head skid. I'd be like- Like third skid. Like <laughs> bottom of the totem pole type of skid. I could see you being a hick, actually. Oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I'll okay. tell my family yeah. in Oakville, uh, <laughs> and they'll be proud. <laughs> Michelle yeah. Milet, uh this is Bilal, our producer. Hi. Uh, he's a nice guy. Would Hi, could Bilal, would Bilal fit in letter, Kenny? Yes. How's, yes. Yeah. I feel like, um, I actually think you might be in the skid crew, and that's a compliment. Yeah, I think that'd and be- And I'm a fucking hick? Yeah. <laughs> What is what is the reasoning? I don't know. It just a what did it's I a do? feeling. It's just a it's feeling a feel. that I, oh I, I overcome with a feeling. Yeah, and then yeah, and then Todd, you'd too. be a hockey player. Would I be a hockey yeah. player? Yeah, with right. that with your flow. Are with you the kidding flow. me? Oh, yeah, I got a long flow. I yeah. cut that shit too. It's so <laughs> gross. Um, it's really disgusting. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, so I'd be a hockey player. That'd be cool. Yeah, but like you know, and I know you do this in interviews and shit because I've seen stuff. But like, what's a slang? What would I have to use? Or what would I have, what would I have to say? I'm, I, I know other people do this with you all the time. As a hockey player? Yeah. Or just in general. Okay, so as a like, hockey I know player, beauty eight. Like, should mm -hmm. beauty eight? Like, does that work? Mm -hmm. She's a beauster, eh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or a rocket? Like they they call me the my two hockey player boyfriends two yes i said oh, girl. two right. moving nice. on okay. um <laughs> they call me like sniper she's or, a sniper she's a eh? sniper yeah. like is the a, a too much no the a gets used but it's a, it's they don't i don't know the hockey players don't say a as much but they say yeah like like a fucking beauty <laughs> or like who brought the rocket boys um, yeah, Ferda. They say Ferda a lot, like for the boys, and they just say Ferda. Ferda, Ferda. Okay. All right, yeah. it's good. La it's good, Got and it. this is legit yeah. lingo. I guess I'm. I'm not so versed in like the hockey player world, to be honest. But yeah, they all play. Little Jared used to play hockey. They all play hockey. They so. all play there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the hockey yeah. culture. Wow, mm -hmm. cool. So, uh, so season two like, season is two. is all filmed. Yeah, it's all filmed. It's coming out. The only information I have about when it's coming out is over the holiday season. So I don't know exactly the date. Well, that's smart to binge and to but, binge. Yeah, because yeah. people have time. That's exactly. very smart. Exactly. And then I think we we start shooting um, season three sometime in February. Wow, yeah. oh, that's nice. so good. Here, yeah. uh, applause right here. No way. Letter Kenny's come back for season three. Yeah.
that. And is it all still on Crave, or are we going to get like mainstream? Is going to go on on like their bigger, like you know those? I don't know if it's bigger anymore. Digital, yeah, but, different like, networks yeah. and stuff. Um, I think for now it's on. It's staying on Crave TV. I know that Comedy Network aired all six of season one on Canada Day. Oh, so I, th- I know that they're involved as okay. well, um, but I just, I don't know. So it's, And you get recognized a lot? Like, you're like, oh my God, like, what's going on, Michelle, or, or Katie, or yeah. is it like, because it's, it's, you know, it's funny, because there's not a lot of really popular Canadian shows that engage, and like, Mr. Like D Mr. might D, be one of them. Uh, trailer Park Boys. Tra- yeah. Trailer yeah. Park Boys. This point. is, uh, safe to say, the new age Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, I mean, t- yeah, yeah, I get, I get recognized, I got recognized more in the summer, because it's like she wears summer clothes. She's, Not that I dress she, like Katie. No, just no she's a bit uh, fair, sh- but. scantily clad. Yeah, she likes her her small shorts and her little shirts. Very um, small townish. Yeah, that's yeah. why I used to I date mean, farm girls all the time. Totally. They were, they were uh, like the, it was yeah, awesome. You was, know what's up. Um, oh, I did. I did. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, it, I think it just like right after the show aired, I got recognized a lot. But people are really sweet. I think anyone who likes the show, they feel really like. They don't feel shy to come up to you because there's no pretentious feelings about it. It's mm-hmm. very they're like good old Canadian yeah, folks, you know. Exactly. There's, would, there's they would probably assume that you're a lot like your character. That too, does so happen like, a oh. lot. Yeah. Your character's not controversial, right? Like she's just sort of observing. Is that safe to say? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it, controversial. I don't know if she's. Con- I mean, she might piss some people off, but I feel like who doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you think they'd vote Trump if if it was an American? Like, do you think your your whole clan no. there would be Trump supporters? No. 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 Okay. Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking small town, right? Like right. that that feel is is the small town that I was, really yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I just I hope not. You hope not. I hope not. You hope not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a deep dark question right there. <laughs> that's what that is, Pat. It yeah. certainly is. Wow, it that what a is. great show. So you're really having a lot of fun season three and, so and, fun. and you're paying, paying some bills. I'm paying some bills. It's great. Sweet, it's man. It's very lovely. Yeah, I'm I'm loving it. And they're so fun. I feel like I have like twelve older brothers and they're so protective and so funny and we all have like a really great, great family feeling which is so good for for those who have watched all of season one what can we expect without giving too much away for season two i would say season one was like a lot of fighting like it was like kind of an aggressive season of wayne like picking fights with people and and trying to like it was kind of a tough scene and then i think season two is the season where people are looking for love Oh, yeah. So with that's only five thousand people. Exactly. Will your <laughs> character get a third boyfriend? <laughs> Time will tell. Oh, oh, you'll have to wait and I see. Got, no. oh, yeah, man. now you're gonna have to watch it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Does she get pregnant? No. I mean, <laughs> you, stay you tuned. Know, stay. You never know. Anything could happen. You never know. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that's so cool. Are you working <laughs> on anything else? I am. I'm working on something right now, but I'm. <laughs> I was supposed to say things. So I'm not allowed to talk about it. Okay, okay. Yeah, so but it's a good. It's a, it could be big. I think it's a. It's going to be a great show. It's not comedy. It's um. It's like a dramatic series. And this whole last year and a half, I've only been doing co- like comedy stuff for the most part. So it's a, it's a really nice like change of pace. And I'm working with some really wonderful people. And yeah, I'm really excited. Canadian American. A uh, bit of both. Bit of both. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Hey Pat. That one day. One day. <laughs> Do you mean one day we're one gonna day. watch it together yeah. at your place, holding hands, both of us in the same hat? Uh. I'll buy you a hat, holding hands. I got six Drake hats now. Onesies. Six Drake hats. Yeah, I'm a, this is a Drake hat. You need one I'm more just saying, for every day. It's of the uh, week. this is a Drake hat. Is it? This is an OVO. Drake this would is never a, admit it. This yeah. is like, <laughs> right. He he'd might be like, uh-uh. deny no, that. this is a, this is like an eclectic, like uh, limited edition Drake hat. Made but it's all like a up. Christmas hat. That's no? what I was going and for. He is okay. Jewish. Okay. Yeah. In case well, the last name did uh, not give. Okay. Ish, ish. You're you know, Jewish, like I'm yeah. Catholic, where it's like, right. yeah, right. like, like I hate it all. Um, <laughs> but I like tradition. It's nice to see family. Kinda, uh-huh. kinda. Of, kind of. Yeah. Are there other Jews in Letterkenny? I assume so. I want to be a Jewish guy Probably on the letter, Kenny. Yeah. I'm not an actor, though. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, you'll, maybe you should come in. How do we speak that. to the guys? Jared, and what's the other guy's name again? Uh, Nathan Nate, Dales. Nathan, Nathan Nate. Dales. Yeah, Nate, yeah, Nate. Or Nate Dog. Nate Dog. You know, whatever yeah. you feel. And Kisa, Jared Kisa, right? Yeah, Kisa. Yeah, they're, they're just beauties. They're just I love the show. I, gotta, I can't wait to watch it all. Yeah. They're beauties. Yeah, well, I can't wait for you to watch it. It's there so amazing. Go. Wow, <laughs> wow, that's so great. Cool. Yeah, what a, what a great role for you, Michelle Milet. You're fun. You're fun. You're nice. You know, you look like you... You're, she's pretty, right, Pat? Like yes. you get you get told that all the time, I'm sure. But you know, you do. You have um, 
I, I don't want to say this like I, I'm being perverted, okay? Okay. But you have a nice star presence to you. You, you know, you got like an Angelina Jolie or a Keira Knightley kind of look to you. It's what a it's, sweet thing I, to say. I really, really he said believe- the same thing to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Wait don't a minute. Feel too good about okay, it. Okay. Okay. Keep it in perspective. I actually said Brad Pitt and Johnny Depp. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. But yeah, with, I can see that yeah. too. I can okay. definitely see that. <laughs> um, but no, like you, I'm sure I can only imagine, and and I like to think that I'm a very good gauge of talent. And the reason why I say that, a lot of people have been on the show have done many, many like more successful things than the show Mm -hmm. and i'd like to say like i was one of the first to find them like being i'm like being honest like guys have like two million subscribers on youtube now and things Mm -hmm. i predict within like four or five years you will be bigger than pamela anderson whoa what Mic drop. That's so boop, boop. What a th- Get your what whole a motherfucker. Nice Stupid thing. family kicked out of that little town. Get them out of here. Go away. But you know why? <laughs> big bulldozer. Yeah, right. <laughs> you Just own to it the all. Town line. <laughs> Get yeah. out. Get That's out amazing. Of here. It's it. You um because you're kind. And that, and that goes a long way. Oh, Talent, nice. Talented and kindness. And and uh that's gonna work well for you. So well that's good. Anything else? Do you want to plug anything? Not really. I mean, just subscribe to Crave TV because it's a great a great network, and I'm excited for people to watch season two, and I hope everyone likes it. Wonderful. Yeah. Hey, quick question. Do you like Toronto compared to the West Coast? Like, do you, can you fit into, is it is it a good city for you? I love Toronto. You do? Yeah, I really, and I love Drake as well. I was, I was good. I needed to say that because I know that, obviously, with six Drake hats, I have a Drake candle. Like, I, I'm into Drake. It's, I, I'm totally into Drake. It's Drake yeah. night at the Raptor game. I'm tonight. going. I can't talk. I have so many <laughs> tickets. Yeah. Todd is the only one. How did you get tickets? Friend, friend hooked him up. You know, yeah. I, ne- you know, this is me now name dropping and bragging. I okay. never have a problem getting a ticket to any sporting event, right? Like, well, how, how long you know me? Like, I'm the guy. Everyone's like, oh fuck, Todd's at the game again. I'm no, not. I douche. have you on Facebook. You're like, yeah. hey, I'm here, I'm here. I'm like, I'm at home with my cat, yeah. right? Is, and it's like second like, row, like it's not me. There. I need you. Know, you. This, and this is because I ran in the circle of corporate people a lot, and they always have extra tickets. Mm-hmm. No one got back to me today. It might be the hat. It might be the hat. Man. Imagine I, I didn't if Barbara say McDonald it. came through for you. It. She is the one. Yeah, Pat's my mom, mom. Oh. Uh, might have an extra ticket. <gasps> yeah. But you want to hear something crazy, yes. Michelle Milet? Mm-hmm. His mother doesn't have a cell phone. Neither oh. of my parents have cell phones. They're both retired. They, uh, they, they have just... a landline. <laughs> yeah. and an e- do they have an email? My mom does. My dad has an email. I set it up for him uh, like 15 years ago. Mm-hmm. I set it up, and then 10 minutes later, he's like, what's the password? And I was like, I don't know, man. I don't you, know. I set it up, and you changed it. And he's like, well, I don't remember. Yes. And I was like, well, now you don't have email. <laughs> and and that's it. Do you, have good, do you have good seats for the game tonight? Um, I don't I don't know. I haven't been told. I just know that I'm going. Do, and it's an 8 p.m. game. Is your is your friend like, oh, yeah, because it's Golden State. It's like TV. West Coast. Oh, okay. Yeah. That gives me more time to go. You actually. do have yeah. time. Um, oh, maybe I'll just buy from Scalper. Is, your, like, is it a close friend? Can we like mm-hmm. off them or something? Can we? Um, I would prefer it if you didn't. Okay. But <laughs> yeah, close friend. I think it'll but be But make fun. it quick if you do. Like, yeah, but if you, if you do, be, just no be pain. kind. No yeah. pain. Not okay. like knees mm-hmm. and then shoulders. Just. Don't like waterboard him to try and get the ticket to keep him alive. Like none of that. No. Waterboard. Yeah. I just read a story. That was, of, that was your go-to. Yeah. yeah the right away to like, waterboard. Cut the throat. Yeah. It was like that's was, was really torture. Uh, haven't you always like sometimes thought to waterboard someone, Pat? Haven't you always sometimes? Is that what you just asked me? Don't you constantly want to kill people in like a Not horrible kill, way? Not kill, just pretend they're close to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Just really scare them for a bit, you know? It's the only way I can get off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Just, is that what you have like a scarf you around your neck? Well you just now. pull it tight and you <laughs> David Carradine? Yeah. Oh. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> we're getting... Having fun. Hey, we're just... Michelle, that's what we do here. I love it. Will you come back? I'd love to come back. Are you so acting? A great vibe. Will you co-host one day? Yeah, because we have we we rotate our co-hosts. Okay, and and what happens is we get a lot of like male co-hosts, mm-hmm. and I I don't know why aren't we gonna, we have some female co-hosts right below? Well, yeah, we, we do have some, but it's, I don't know. It's, yeah, we should work on that. Yeah, one. no, we should. We should so Michelle, enough. you'll come back. I would love to come back. All right, uh, and I'll wear I'll wear a fun hat. We'll do, we'll do Drake music the whole show. That'd be so good. Deal? Yes. All right, I like Done. it. Um, Michelle, honestly, c- congrats on all the success. It really is. You know what I love? I love when Canadian shows do well, and I love when they do well south of the border, too, yeah. and this is one of those shows, and it's being talked about like a Trailer Park Boys, not to compare to the two, but mm-hmm. it uh, it's amazing. It's it's uh, It gives a lot of people inspiration and hope because, uh, you know, we get a lot of cynicism with this industry, and we shouldn't. We should we should mm-hmm. look to the ones that are doing real well, and uh, we're all pretty blessed to be kind of making money and having laughs and having Absolutely. smiles. Absolutely, and there's so many amazing things 
things happening in Canada. There's so many talented people. Like you said earlier, there's so many funny comedians, like the funniest people I know, especially out of Toronto. So it's nice. It's it's nice. Be- Pat, it's the best scene. Like it, yeah. like the Toronto oh, scene right now is insane. It's crazy. Yeah, the it's, improv scene, like all the sketch stuff that happens, it's so good. They have, um, so good. like annually, I just did it uh, like two, three weeks ago. They have a festival showcase at Yuck Yucks. And the Toronto thing is like a week long, two shows a night just at Yuck Yucks, and then they have additional ones at different venues because there are so many good comics Mm -hmm. that all of the different festivals for their TV tapings want to see. Whereas other places, it's like one night of 10 comics. So it's it's insane the amount of talent. Every night is a showcase. Every night. There you right? Go. That's right. Every night. And then we showcase him on the show. What's up? <laughs> uh, thank you, Michelle Milet. Um, you're at Michelle. Are you at Michelle Milet? Is that yeah. where you are? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Yeah. Ex- That's it. It's just my name. No E on the end, though. Like, I felt no. like there should have been an E on the end of your name. Yeah, some, okay. some people <laughs> wish that there was, but, yeah. you know, unfortunately, there isn't. Be mm. wasteful. Yeah. It's don't, a bit wasteful. Don't waste a vowel. Let's not waste more Keep vowels. In your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real problem today. It's a good <laughs> cause to fight for. Yeah. <laughs> Couple E's and letter, Kenny. Uh, go check it out. That's cool. Uh, released uh, again for the second season. Will be uh, hopefully over that holiday season, and that's really cool. We're we're looking forward to it. Uh, have a good day, and and uh, come back anytime, Michelle Milet. Back. The Todd Shapiro Show. All right, we really appreciate you watching that video. Make sure you check out some more videos. Why not? Let's get caught in the Shapiro Show vortex right here. Or you can subscribe to the channel right here and check out videos at any point because we're going to give you all the alerts. We do appreciate you being a part of our family. Most families hate each other, not ours. We love you.